Welcome back to another episode of Lolly TV brought to you by Lolly, the leading Bitcoin rewards app. I'm Elena and I'm here to take you through the biggest Bitcoin news of the week every single week and let's get into it. This week, Bitcoin's been hanging out in the 19 to 20K range with a weekly low just shy of 19K and a weekly high right around the 20.5K range, which is where we are as of Wednesday evening. Bitcoin actually rallied past 20K on July 4th. And I mean, Bitcoin loves freedom, so it kind of makes sense. This week, what many are calling crypto winter has already been cold to a number of companies that are buckling under price pressure. This week, crypto broker Voyager Digital became the next crypto company to temporarily suspend all withdrawals, transfers, and deposits. It's been a tough week for Voyager. On Tuesday, the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The company's plan to exit bankruptcy stated that it expects account holders to be impaired by the bankruptcy process, aka customers likely won't get back exactly the funds that they're owed. Moreover, an FDIC official confirmed this week that it was looking into Voyager's marketing of deposit accounts as potentially misleading customers. On July 1st, the Indian government passed a new law mandating a 1% tax on all crypto-related transactions of $126 or more. Crypto is increasingly popular in India, but trading volumes plummeted this week across exchanges as the new tax law went into effect. According to the new law, exchanges must now deduct 1% of the transactional value from the buyer and subsequently pay that amount as a tax to the government. While Chainalysis reported in 2021 that India ranked second for crypto adoption, increased tax austerity and the bear market have led many of the country's exchanges and crypto firms to look to move to friendlier jurisdictions. Speaking of doubling down, on-chain data from the block this week showed that amid Bitcoin's price plummeting, whales are continuing to buy the dip. During big sell-offs like the current one, it's common to see many investors liquidate their positions. However, we're seeing the opposite effect for people who hold a thousand Bitcoins or more right now. Despite bearish prices, we're seeing this group continue to stack sats on the dip, which is your friendly reminder to swim like a whale and keep earning Bitcoins lolly now. This week, El Salvador's president down $60 million in Bitcoin to date, doubled down on Bitcoin buying 80 Bitcoins at $19,000 per coin. Unfazed by liquidity losses, President Nayib Bukele spent another $1.5 million on the recent purchase. In other El Salvador news, the president of the country's central bank this week revealed that $52 million in remittances have been processed by the country's digital wallet service Chivo during the first five months of the year to date. Not too shabby. This week, my favorite meme was from Happy Showmore when you're trying to get your Bitcoin back from a crypto lending platform. I don't know, this uh, memes aren't supposed to make you feel some type of way, but it's an honest struggle. I like the gun on the computer. It's really feel for this guy. If you are staying up to date with Lolly.com, you know that we have some amazing Bitcoin rewards rates right now, and here are the highlights. Head to Sonos for 7.5% Bitcoin back. That's a huge amount of Bitcoin on best-selling speakers that you need in your life. Then head to Our Place for pots and pans that will change your life. These pots and pans do it all. Don't take my word for it. Check it out now. Plus, they're so pretty. Then head to Cabela's for 7.5% Bitcoin back on gear you need for your next adventure. And finally, head to Vera Shop for 12% Bitcoin back on summer styles, home decor, and everything. That is a ton of free Bitcoin at your one-stop shop for everything you need. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It is always a pleasure. Have an amazing weekend. Rest, relax, do your thing, get some sun. I will see you next week. And until then, happy stacking.